Dear Zach, I have prayed for the man I would one day marry since I was a little girl, and since day one of our relationship, you have done nothing but continually exceed every expectation I have ever had. I said we met in D.C. Uh, her grandma brought her up there. My dad brought me up there on a board, school board trip. <laughs> She'll play it's lots right of it. And then we were friends for a couple years, and then we got together. Today is the day. Wow, I've dreamt of this day for what seems like forever, and literally, as you read this, I'm somewhere getting around for our wedding. Today is a day of beginnings, and today I promise you that I will respect you as your own person, to always be open with you, to grow with you, and to always encourage your dreams. Although I can't promise to be perfect, I can promise to always try to give you the best of myself, because of that you are so deserving. And then, we didn't officially say that we're dating until we got done with my first semester of school because I was, I think at the time, I was a little unsure of her like because we were a few thousand miles apart and maybe she'll find somebody where she's at because right? that'd be a lot easier than doing just Skype calls. Oh, Skype was our saving grace. We spent thousands of hours on Skype and we would watch movies together over Skype where we would try and synchronize when to start them so they'd be at the exact same moment. We'd both get our popcorn and get in bed and watch a movie together. We would play games over Skype. A couple of the best things was we used it to pray together every night instead of over the phone. We'd always try and do it kind of together. And even we'd get on there, we wouldn't talk, you know, sometimes because we were in school, but just to have her on the screen and uh, I would be doing my notes and homework and she'd be doing the same, but just feeling like I had somebody else in the room. It's, uh, yeah. It was, it was our saving grace. It helped us a lot um, learning how to communicate when you can't be together. It made us a lot stronger. And, uh, and that, that was always special because after the day, and I, I'm not anywhere around family or anything, so it's just stressful and stuff, and, but I was looking, always looking forward to the Skype call, you know. It didn't take me long to realize that I wanted you in my life forever, but the first time I watched you walk on that plane, knowing I wouldn't see you for another five months, was the first time I realized I needed you in my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, Katie. I can't wait to do all the big things together, and I, also, I can't wait to do all the small things. As I wrap this up, please know that I will always love and cherish what, what we have, and I will strive to be the best that I can be for us in this marriage. Three years of long distance has caused a lot of heartache and a lot of tears, but every bit of it has been so worth it to become your wife. You love me for who I truly am, and you make me want to be a better version of myself, so thank you. Thank you for loving me so wholeheartedly. Thank you for being my shoulder to cry on. Thank you for always encouraging me and building me into the woman I am today. Thank you for being my prayer warrior and always leading me closer to the Lord. Uh, what's going through my head is it's, it's like it's finally here. You know, some we've been planning for 14 months, but I wanted since, uh, like I said in the letter, since I, we finally started, I guess, officially dating or, or even when we met that summer before I went off. Your love is the first Corinthians love. It is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast and keeps no record of wrong. It is a love I thought only existed in fairy tales until I met you. But three years ago, I fell in love with the guy I barely knew. Today, I'm in love with the man you are, and I can't wait to continue to fall in love with the man you become, because there's nothing I'd rather do than spend the rest of my life loving you. People say, you know, times it's going to go fast, it's going to go fast, and then at the, in the moment, you're thinking it's so slow, but it just seems like it was just the other day that uh, I was getting ready to leave the country, and we just met and started this relationship, but, but here we are, and uh, is this, I'm just going to be happy. Is there anything you'd like to say to Katie? Um, just sorry. Just, just said I love her a lot. Okay. She's just an incredible blessing. Ready. Pretty good, Mary.
Oh, I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm anxious to just get there and see him and just get it going, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of a blur. I just, I love you. I can't wait to see you and just start our lives together and all the fun we're gonna have. <laughs> I go finish kidding around for the wedding. Uh, I can't wait to see you uh, in that white dress. Sorry. Uh, On behalf of the bride and groom and their family, I want to welcome all of you and thank you for being here today to help them celebrate this great time. We are gathered together here to see this man and this woman join together in holy matrimony. And so it, it's, this is God's plan that you leave your primary relationships, which is your parents, and now your primary new relationship is one another. And you strive toward being best friends because this is where family is designed to happen. Kids, grandkids, it starts here, it starts in marriage. So 28 years ago, next Saturday, I had the privilege of joining Delbert and Maria in marriage. This is the groom's parents. And then 26 and a half years ago, I had the privilege of joining Vicki and Chris in marriage. And now, look what we got. With this ring, With this ring, I pledge my love. I pledge my love. And all my life. And all my life. I give to you. By the authority vested in me in the, by this state and by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. From the day you met each other, I knew it was something special and big unfolding. And when you started dating, I never doubted that you were meant to spend forever together. There is truly nothing that makes me happier than getting to be a part of something so special. Knowing that my best friend is always going to be protected, loved, and made truly happy is the best feeling, and there is no one I would trust more with my big sister than Zach. Zach, I'm so glad that you are officially part of our family now, even though I've considered you to be and told people you are my brother for years now. Getting to stand by and see your love for Katie has been a privilege. Getting to see how God's plans unfolded between the two of you is more beautiful than I ever would have imagined. Katie, thank you for always being the most protective sister and such a role model to me. Thank you for not only letting me stand beside you today, but every day growing up as your little sister and best friend. There's no one who deserves a more beautiful love than you. You have the kindest soul, biggest heart, and are such a loved and beautiful person to all who meet you. Sometimes God's plans are more miraculous and amazing than we would have ever thought. The two of you being created to love each other is definitely one of those instances. I love you both endlessly and wish you all of the happiness in the world as you start this new chapter together.